in doing so, take on the whole armor of God in all your responsibility. Fail not to be within the word of God. No matter what anyone says or done, he did not call them, he called you. And do not sway one way to the left or to the right. Because God will hold you accountable. I charge you have already known you done it for many years on behalf of your father. Now it's your time to step in. As God was with your father, he will also be with you. I charge you to continue to preach the word, preach God's word, because the time is at hand when people are listening to, finding out the false doctrines that the world is trying to interject in the people. But keep the faith. Endure to the end. And at the end, I'm here to guarantee you that it is a greater blessing, as Pastor Bill said, the best is yet to come. But fail not to hold on to the Word of God, the Word of God that might lead and feed the people of God, that they themselves might change their life and come into the life of God and have one mind, one heart, and it's now on you. And I charge you to carry that to the best of your ability. And when you think you can't carry him up, just hold up your hands. And he'll be there, right there in a hurry. He's already promised I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. This day is your day. This day God has said, bring forth my man. Bring forth Anthony Lawrence Small, and I will give him the charge. Unto him, at the end of the day, I'll call your name. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Be faithful unto the end. God will bless you. God keep you. Just wear hats and look pretty. But they carry the Lord of this man. Heads of Bible, eyes of clothes. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you for this appointment and destiny. Thank you, Lord, for Pastor Small. Thank you, dear God, for the first step and the new direction that he's taken in ministry. Father, we thank you today because he's been prepared for this day before the foundation of the world. Thank you, God, because he's been in the churches preparing, standing side by side with his Father. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus for clarity of mind. Father, I pray right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that as the same way that Moses stood with, that Joshua stood with Moses, and when the baton was passed, Lord, that the same promise that you made to Moses, you gave unto Joshua. And I'm asking you, God, to give the same promise to Small. And that is, dear God, that every place that the sole of his feet shall trod, that Father, that you would give it to him. I pray for fresh vision. I pray for a fresh anointing. I pray, Lord, that you would continue to cover him. I pray, God, that you would navigate him through the vicissitudes of life. I pray, dear God, that you would continue to order your steps in your word. And then, God, I pray for a hedge around him. 
every tongue that rises in judgment, Lord, let it be utterly cast down. Father, I pray for the provision of this family. Don't let them lack, don't let them want for anything, God. Then, God, I pray, Lord, that you would protect him. Protect him, protect him, protect him, protect him, protect him, protect him, and keep him right now. In the name of Jesus. To understand, God, that his first ministry is at home. And continue to order his steps. In Jesus' name. Amen. Y'all can all give the Lord some praise.